All right, okay. Here we are. We're back playing competitive 5D chess. This is week one of season five of the 5D chess league. My opponent is Romad. We have chosen uh, via gentleman's agreement to play half reflected as our variant of choice. It's a variant that I haven't played very much, uh, that no one's really played very much. As far as I'm aware, Romad certainly hasn't, but we've had fun playing this variant before. To start with, uh, I'm gonna give him a big spiritual GLHF, even though he's already out of my chat. Um, he's streaming this himself uh, from his perspective, and we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, we're gonna play the best move in chat. <gasps> he played King Side Knight too. Oh God, it's a dead heat. Uh, now, I really haven't given very much thought to what you should do <laughs> in 5D chess um, if you don't have... Okay, I remember how much of a... how much of a... how, how weird this game mode is uh, when you... I'm gonna do a little bit of this. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna, C4 is explosive. What's half reflected, by the way? Uh, Kusani Exaku. Half reflected is when you'll notice that this bottom half of the board looks exactly like regular chess, but upstairs, instead of the kings and the queens being on the same file, the black king and queen are swapped. They're swapped. Uh, I've never seen a 5D tie so far. It's a tie for the set. We're playing two games in the, um, in the 5D chess league. You play a match and then you swap colors. So a tie in this case would mean that he wins one game and I win a, uh, another game. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm already uh, just a tiny bit spooked. Um, what is the what? What reason would you have to do this other than to get your queen out immediately? Right. Um, right. Maybe. Um, it's unclear to me. Um, well, okay, I was gonna Frappuccino my bishop. Maybe I should just play my knight out. Uh, let me just develop my pieces. <laughs> let me just develop my pieces. So, man, if you don't win, I'm coming. Uh, to do what? I thought tire for it to draw. No, I very explicitly wrote 2-0, two, 2-0, zero, two, zero, or 1-1. One, one. Like, it was very, very clear what a tie meant. Shows how bad at chess I am, let alone 5 do. That's how it's set up normally. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But it is really interesting in 5D. Half Reflected is interesting because normally a lot of the sort of degenerate strategies of uh, 5D chess come from the fact that... Now, what does this mean? Uh, am I going to get absolutely uh, Shreked? Um... Just because... Hmm. Actually, I don't really know what this means. Takes, 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 boom, takes. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Right. Uh, it, a lot of the degenerate strategies in 5D chess come from the fact that your queen is on the same color tile as your opponent's king. And so you can... Uh, you, you start the game on the same diagonal. So you can do things like uh, travel to f7 and then force the king out and then checkmate quickly with your queen. But it's a lot harder to maneuver in that way um, with, with this setup, with the half-reflected setup. Uh, now, a good question is, uh, what's happening and why? Uh, what's going on here? Hmm... I want to keep activating my pieces. That seems like generally good gameplay. Not thinking too much in the early game. You assume we know how to read? <laughs> Sorry. You're interacting with me through a text-based medium. There must be some degree of literacy that I can expect. Also, no sane person calls draws ties in chess. That's true, but apparently we've got <laughs> some proportion of the audience that isn't aware of how the board is set up in chess. 
so you know. Uh, okay, my opponent is loading up on e3 here. It's a little concerning. We probably want to defend our e3 square. What is a good way that we can do that? I don't know about good way, uh, but certainly um, pushing this pawn feels maybe okay, right? Prevents the queen from hopping in here. Our bishop is defending that pawn. Our other bishop is defending that pawn. And uh, now I won't feel so terrible if I, for example, want to wanna push my queen up to the second rank here and undefend something. To be fair, I do know how it's set up. I just keep confusing the kings and queens. No problem. No, it does kind of look like the queen is flashier than the king, right? Which, I mean, they move more. So they, they move better. They're a better piece, stronger piece. But maybe if you're thinking in, like, the hierarchy of regality. It really does look goofy, huh? If you, like, completely sort of abstract the shape of the king from your existing knowledge of like what that symbol is and means the king looks really goofy no uh okay he's just loading up all of his pieces onto this square here so if i do this and he does this then do i have to care like at all um i don't know that i necessarily do chat um but is there something better that I can do here? I don't know. I want to push h3. And then when my opponent does this, I just want to like put my queen up like this, maybe. I guess then that traps my bishop, which isn't a good thing. I draw robots elevated a message. For what reason? <laughs> it's a waste of money, but also thank you so much for the support, I draw robots. I really appreciate it. Um, you definitely didn't have to do that. That was a poor, that was an irresponsible fiscal decision. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Th thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... I don't know. All right, okay, Re real, real boss bitch move here is d4. <laughs> and then when takes, I just take. And I threaten the bishop. <laughs> then if the knight takes, I take here, and then I've got, I've got the knight capture here. I feel like I'm not thinking very hard. Um, how can I improve my pieces? I guess I'll do this. Why not? I should have done that forever ago and saved myself like two minutes of time, actually. All right. The knight did exactly what we thought the knight was going to do. Now, this blocks my bishop in, which feels bad. So is this a better move? I undefend the knight here. Does that matter? What is, the, what is the thing that my opponent is going to do that is going to cause me anguish? Um, I mean, alternatively, I could defend that pawn with this knight. What else is this knight doing? Uh, like, it opens up the diagonal, but... To what extent do I give a shit? It's unclear, right? I don't know, I guess it's awkward. Well, okay, if takes, then I've got a bishop for a knight. And his knight in, is in like a weird place. But then it takes pressure off of this square. And also, my knight is in a much more active position that he's not going to be able to kick it from forever. Why not? Let's do this, chat. Sure.
And then this knight doesn't have anywhere fantastic to go. I guess. So we could just kick it. I feel like this variant so far has felt more chess-like. Which is definitely... Um... Hey, Poison! How's it going? I'm playing against Romad right now. You haven't missed it. It's happening. He's also alive. You should go support him. Fiendas. Romad, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, is much, much better at regular chess than I am. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's over 2k for sure. Fide rating? Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Over 2k? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's one of the, as far as I know, four people... <laughs> who are big 5D chess people who are over 2k FIDE rated. There's, I think in order of ELO, Ryan, Dreamer, Lexi, Romad, um, who are maybe not so coincidentally four of the best players to ever do it. I never heard of Romad being over 2k FIDE. In that case, uh, don't quote me on that. I might, I might just be getting my wires crossed, but I know he's real good at the game and he plays in the real life. Ever been over 2k? Never mind, Dreamer is a shitter and he doesn't deserve any of the success that he's seen. Wait, for real? And probably never will? Wait, what's your rating? Well, I, uh, how many times have I asked Dreamer's rating? What's what's your rating? I'm bad at chess. I only got over 2k FIDE after getting really good at 5D also. Coincidence? Damn, really? I mean, Danrel doesn't count. Uh, Danrel, I think, was better than Lexi at... Classical, and then he left after like the first month of the game's release or something like that. You don't know how to play chess. Why, why does your English get worse when you're bad at chess? But also, I'm pretty sure Dreamer's over 2k, right? Ryan's over 2k, and I know, I mean, I know Lexi, Lexi's rating before he stopped. Potato? Okay. You say potato, I say 2k. Dreamer is making vodka out of his, uh, out of his elo. For real, I'm below 2k fide? You're close though, right? I swear, if you're like, oh, actually, I'm 1993. I'm gonna be mad. Not really? Really? Lexi has said recently that he thinks that Dreamer is better than him at classical. And Lexi was almost, like, he was basically candidate master level. Which is 2200, right? Or, I think? Maybe I'm getting that wrong. Oh, chat, I fell for this for like the three millionth time. If I had a nickel for every time this has happened to me, <laughs> um, it, it'd be a healthy chunk of change. Maybe, maybe one day I will learn. <laughs> maybe one day I will, I will learn to not fall into this. Where I push h3 and then a knight comes here with a queen looking at it. Um. It, w it would be several nickels, chat. I mean, it's really annoying. What do I do? What if I take... Uh, that's a terrible idea. Um, I shouldn't have made the night move. I don't know. But I mean, that's what's really dangerous, right? Like, I wanted to cover this with all my pieces. Because if, like, I wasn't and then trades happened and I opened this up, then... So really, I guess I shouldn't have pushed H3. 
Um, HD is a bad move to play unless you have a good reason. Uh, it isn't just a nice move like it is in 2D oftentimes. Yeah, that is that is like the single piece of 2D uh, like intuition that probably for worse rather than for better I've brought with me into 5D chess. Okay, no, let, let's focus. Um, this is bad because he can just back in time capture. Um, if he does a... Maybe it's not bad. Is there a situation where... No. How do I... How do I prevent this from being a problem? Uh... Like, what do I do here? Hmm. What do I do here? This night is always going to be awful. I mean... I probably don't sack the knight, right? Oh, sorry, the rook. I always do that. Rook h2? And rook g1 both feel bad. Hold on. What if... What if I... What if I attack his queen? Oh no, taking this away is actually a bad idea. Because then if he takes and I take, and he takes, then he can go two turns into the past here. Uh, and mate me, pretty much. Right? So actually, I do need to defend... Man, wait. How do I not lose? Well, okay, I don't want to waste too much time on this, and I have to pick one of the two. It seems kind of idiotic to go rook h2, so I'm going to go rook g1 and just hope that I don't lose. But I need to come up with a way to kick this knight. I guess I should move my king, maybe. That's, a, that's what I should do. I don't know how to do that safely. This takes up so much space. Man, 5D chess is whack. <laughs> Anybody with me? Maybe bishop b2? Um, maybe like bishop b2, <laughs> queen d2, and then castle queenside? Five d chess do be whack. Back in time juice tm. What? Me, okay, just one more game to get another plus two for a round number. Also, me later looking at 5D tax list. For fuck's sake, why does this guy owe me more than 100 deal? Bro, I don't even have this piece of intuition. You don't have the piece of intuition that H3 is nice in 2D chess because it means that the rook, that the knight can't just move up? And so that your king has an es escape square in case of a back rank in the late game? I don't believe you. Especially because I'm pretty sure Andre's better than I am at 2D chess. So sad that my school scheduled a test on a Saturday, so I might miss Penultima. <laughs> I'm sorry, April. Um, when's your test? I hope you don't. There's always, there's always the edited version on the YouTube afterward. Wait, how can one owe ELO to SMB? Super Mario Bros? Super Monkey Ball? What are you talking about? SMB. To somebody, maybe? <laughs> Is SMB somebody? It's in half an hour? Depends on how quick your test is. <laughs> yeah, YouTube exists. Dream SMP? <laughs> cool. Like, never have I ever thought, oh, it's just a nice move, let me make it. It's very telling about Andre's playstyle, I guess. <laughs> Like, if a move isn't super actively doing something aggressive, then Andre never considers it. Is that what you're telling me? But I also don't believe you. I think I probably won't miss the whole thing. 
Yeah, here's hoping. Fingers crossed. My time management, though. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God Romat is a fellow flagger. As I said, making Luft is another thing. What is making Luft? I don't know what that means. I mean, Luft means air in German. So I guess giving yourself breathing room uh, is what you're saying. But like, you really don't need intuition for it. Uh, I disagree with you. I think that your definition of intuition is more stringent than it needs to be. You can make Luft at any time. <sighs> Just eat some Taco Bell. Hey, Jonas, how's it going? Escape scores for the for the kin. Is this plain 5D chess or poison pawn? This is plain. This is actually my tournament match against Romad um, in the 5D chess league. Uh, it's a very exciting time. Very exciting time. Now, um, here's a good question. How much do I have to give a shit about what has happened? Uh, my answer is, I'm not so sure. Now, if takes, what if I did a little bit of this? Because this knight is no longer attacking this square, right? Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I need to have... Well, no. Well, well... Well, well, if takes and takes back. All right, hold on. <laughs> Give me a sec, Chad. Give me a sec. What if I push this? And then takes happens. And then takes happens. And then takes happens. And then takes happens. That's fine with me. Like, I don't think I want to take this knight, do I? If I push this pawn... Like, I would love to take this bishop. What if I push this pawn he takes, I take. Because otherwise there's pressure here. And then takes happens, but then I can take. And it's probably fine, right? If I can get my queen up here, that's nice anyway, right? I don't know. Is there an issue here? When did I use so much time? Wait, guys, I'm such a dingus. Okay, the whole function of this knight here is to defend this rook. I'm so stupid. Okay. Right. I, do, I definitely don't want to do that. So I don't want to push this. So what's happening here? If I take this, and then bishop up, and then takes... Or maybe it's the idea is takes, and then takes, and then boom, and then... No, that's stupid too. Maybe it should just takes. Oh, it does take pressure off of this pawn. And then here, what's the big deal? Then again, my knight is really good here. I'm running out of time! Ugh! Fuck. Again, that's really annoying. If takes, takes, that's fine. But then if takes, I'm making an executive decision. Because this enables me to organically get my bishop off of the back rank so I can maybe castle queenside to safety. <laughs> I hope I haven't lost. Queen, boom, takes, takes, boom. Oh, that's bad too, maybe. Because my queen is cut off of...
c3 but he has to move his bishop now unless he has like something lethal spoilers in the chat don't forget to push the clock after making a move yeah, i think thanks for the reminder chat Knight takes knight is a decision that can be made almost instantly if you compare the strength of two knights. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your viewpoint. Yeah. I find that it's harder to trust my intuition when I haven't played a tournament game in forever. There's like a pressure. Is a real pressure, you know. If a trade happens here, that's probably really good for me, right? More specifically, we're on the defense, so our knight isn't doing anything offensively. Oh, that's, a, that's okay. That's a fair point. That's a good point, right? Like it's more important for you to defend the position, so our opponent's on the offense, so our knight's doing a lot. I No, I, I completely agree with you. That's super reasonable. That's reasonable. Ah, tournament! God! Remember when we played chess for fun? Had a white and up defending? I don't know what to tell you, man. The progressive, you can just scrub through the VOD if you really want. Being on the def uh, defense isn't a bad thing. I agree with that. Like, there are, situ there are plenty of situations where your opponent can be on the offense and hyperextend. And then being on the defense would be the right move. You know what I mean? As if tournaments are not just for fun. Andre, you and I both know that that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works. You know what I mean by for fun. Oh... Chat, okay, check it out. What if my opponent trades here, I take, and then in two turns, he takes my knight two turns in the past? Knights, you can't take a knight two turns in the past. <laughs> Never mind. Because um, the knight will recapture itself. But it would have forked my king and queen, or if I take with the g pawn, he gets my rook and maybe mates me, yeah? Okay, fair. <laughs> Wait, what are rules on fun in tournaments? <laughs> yeah, Ryan's got it. <laughs> Strictly no fun allowed in tournament play. It's codified. Check the official rules document. It's on the Discord. No fun at all. <laughs> There's a lot at stake. He needs to win to have a chance at that Guayaki sponsorship. <laughs> Don't get me. Penalties for even smiles. Oh, in that case, I'm fucked. Big stakes here, playing for a boss fight spot. Eureka's is so obsessed. Ooh. I have to take this. Do I take it with the king or the knight? So rook. Fuck. If I take it with the rook, I undefend g2, and that seems like a terrible idea. But if I take it with the knight, sorry, if I take it with the king, then I open myself up to a Tchaikovsky of some description. But how would that even work? Ah, he would travel to somewhere, he would travel to a turn where maybe he sets up like an in the past check and then travels to here so that then this checks me in real life on T0 is what I meant uh we're just gonna go off rip because that that uh this seems this seems really scary to me I don't want it to happen but I I fully accept that this might spell doom King move! King move. Only Fox. Only Final Destination. 
Uh, I'm scared of a travel here, but I won't waste too much time on it. King is the way to play it. I mean, Rook just seems so obviously bad, right? But we'll see. I mean, Romad's, Romad's a clever one. I feel like he wouldn't have made this move uh, if it didn't have its purpose. Oh, I see the purpose. The simple purpose is that this move exists. Uh, and I'm blind. Um... We're fine, chat. We're fine. We're fine. This is fine. God damn it, dude. <laughs> it's so blind in retros- er, sorry, it's, it's so obvious in retrospect. Okay. It was probably obvious in the moment as well. Okay, so. This is a simple... I need to block here because if I don't and I don't threaten the queen, then he can check me and then it's a uh, mate, right? Because he's ch checking me in the past. So I, th I need to do this, right? Yeah. Because otherwise he checks me in like a turn or two and that's really bad. So I'll just do this and my uh, knight is defending the bishop. Right? I don't want to lose on time. And this seems sensible. My opponent's got a bad bishop. If we defend, then we have some good prospects. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, I'm scared about travels, but instead of, like, trying to preempt them... I'm just gonna... Hello. So now... I'm gonna have to take that here. Whatever. We'll figure it out if he makes it. This is only legal move, so let's blitz it out. Oh, he wants to play into an endgame? Ah, I see. He wanted to open up the... Okay. Wow, we got an endgame. Okay, so he wasn't confident that his shit would work, huh? Okay, so now we have to think... How can we... This is probably uh, maybe a good location for my knight, and I want to get my rook here anyway. Uh, which rook? I never know which rook to pull over. Um... Maybe my A rook? Unclear. Oh, maybe I should... Oh no, is there a travel here? Because if there is, I'm gonna be really mad. And if there isn't, I don't give a shit. There's probably a travel here, right? I didn't consider that. Um, let's see. Where's this going? No, it's fine. Alright. Uh, don't worry about it. Could you imagine if I accidentally hit submit move there? Um, that would be so bad. Oh, here, I understand the issue. There's this happening. So my knight is pinned, uh, and I'm a dingus. I was gonna defend here like this, and then when this push happens, I'm totally fine. I wanna defend my knight, right? That's the move. I'm just gonna do this instead of wasting all of my time. And then I should probably prevent myself from getting back ranked. Uh... I am down a pawn, crucially. I am down a pawn. Prepping to trade into a winning endgame? He's down a pawn, never mind. I see Dono's better. That makes two of us, man. Yeah, pushing this pawn, I've got this pawn here, so that's fine. I guess maybe that's a good argument for Rook... ...D1 here. Then again, I probably kicked this bishop, right? Actually, that enable that gives him a reason to. Oh, but then I can get out of the way. Never mind. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. Roman may have missed the thingy thing. Damn. I have more time. Honestly, yes. Um, what was the thingy thing, Andre? What was the thingy thing? 
da 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 Shoot do do scoop beep boop. Oh wait, no, it's fantastic if I kick his bishop, right? Because then if he if he like tries to push this pawn, then I can just push my pawn. And then I'm a happy camper. <sighs> He's probably gonna castle. And then I gotta figure out what to do after that, but I probably want to kick this bishop, right? Right? Maybe? Um, too easy to calculate if it still works. So I'm gonna sing the background music in a Joel voice. I don't know what a Joel voice is. Joel who? Who is Joel? Vine sauce? I apologize profusely, but I am unfamiliar. Is that Nostradamus cement? What? Wait, this is good? But why? I have to take this. It's my only legal move. Okay, this is possible. Which is fine. But now... Um... I see. Is this really worth it? I would be surprised if that were the case. Um, I mean, I guess this prevents his bishop from going there. Uh, so maybe this is the play? I guess? Or th this? No, this is better maybe? Uh, but maybe he can do, like, some of this situation? I don't know. This, maybe, is better? Ah, it- maybe it makes it easier to get my rook on that file? I'm just gonna do this and hope I don't lose. Now, I need to figure out how I can take advantage. This was a bold move by Romad. Now he only has and Bishop. I am up a knight now? That seems... Man, okay. If I don't lose, then... Um, I think I win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay, I think that's fine. Oh, wait. That I didn't consider. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is okay. If takes... I could take with the knight, but then that causes me a tempo, right? Or that loses me a tempo. Um, hold on. If takes... Is king up a good move? Or is that crazy? I'm also defending from- what do I do here? Okay, I guess maybe rook over here? The idea being takes, takes, then maybe like this happens? But then why do I care about that? King up feels like it's probably a bad move, but I really want to do it. Takes, takes at least means that I'm not losing. Okay, I gotta get my king off of the file, right? I need to let, not lose, lose my time advantage, but I'm also kind of scared. Maybe I can just do this. And then again, it loses my... Takes, takes. Oh, maybe I can do this? No, that's bad. I should probably do this.
Chat! I I have decision paralysis. Hopefully it didn't just lose me the game. I don't know why I spaghettified right at the end here. Like a black hole. But all of mom's spaghetti has just popped out all over the place. This is uh this is not great. Like I'm scared of something that probably has a very simple and routine um deflection. And I don't have a great reason for it. Uh, paralysis first sync later. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I blew a lot of my time advantage there, but I'm scared, man. Ooh, that's interesting. See, what if I... I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? But, well... Uh, I do kind of see how this was, like, strictly worse than what I wanted to do before. Hold on. What if I take here? Oh, then this is probably mate, isn't it? Chat, why am I so bad at 5D chess, dude? Ah, oh, fuck. I probably sh I probably should have brought my rook over. All right, well, let me let me do this. Uh and then here I should do something else that doesn't lose me the game on the spot. What if I Jurassic Rooked? <laughs> Bad cement. That's unnecessary. Don't do that. Alright, hear me out, chat. <laughs> rook up might become relevant. <laughs> like Rook from here to here. Feels like a waste of a move. Um, okay, that's not fantastic. But let me do... This, I guess, and then this. Okay. Oh, God, this is not fantastic. Going here. Or maybe here takes takes here. Whoa. I don't I don't even think I understand the idea. What's happening here? It's possible that he's just Wait, did he- did I give him mate? No, all the squares are covered, hopefully. That would be fine. Alright. It's probably worth it for me, right? Um... Nice. Okay, that saves us a lot of headache. That's cool with me. Wait, what? If 
fuck. Just don't lose. Just don't lose. Just don't lose. Just trade down, you're winning. <sighs> I couldn't spot the mate there, which may or may not actually exist. It's unclear to me. Um, fuck. I hope I don't lose this. Um, balls I need to move. Balls I need to move. Balls I need to move. I just gave that to him for free, but then I got my king up, but then he can take the file. Chat, I'm blundering. Like a mad lad. Um. That seems pretty good to me. Ah, uh, I can't believe this has happened to me! This was definitely the easiest move of my life. Because now... Oh wait, what I wanted to do doesn't actually work? Question mark? Oops. Um... Fuck. Why? Uh, shit. Okay. Let's do that. Chat, I can't see. This is such spaghetti! Whoa, that seems crazy. Wouldn't this be crazy, chat? If I did this, and then this, oh god, this is awful, fuck. Damn it, chat, god damn it! Why can't I see how to immediately win the game? I guess maybe just get a rook where... Okay, well, that seems crazy. Um... Wow, I'm running out of moves to make here. Okay, hopefully this doesn't lose me the game. I know how this looks, chat. But, it's going to be okay. I hope. Fuck. God damn it, dude. If my king was ever there, then I might have to commit honorable Sudoku. How did I just blunder that? I'm in shock. Chat, I lost. I can't believe I lost. Chat, why did I just blunder? No, he, he had mate next turn anyway. <sighs> Chat, I, I was like 100% won the game. There was like no way to lose that game. 
I just panicked because I didn't have time. Uh... I'm not even, I'm not even like overwhelmed. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I just freaked out. Ah. I did still have a win after I got shocked. No. Oof GG, my heart's pumping so much right now. Oof GG, Romad, well played. I, 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 I blundered so much. Working two kings was a possibility. If you get there, how could I not get there? Because uh, I do this, and then he checks, and then he has mate next turn, but I have mate the turn before. It's probably Jurassic. Yeah, and there, there are probably Jurassics at, at a lot of points. But man. I threw that away. <laughs> GG, though. All right. We have to get over it. We have to play the next game. All right, okay, GLHF. This is game two. Uh, we lost game one in a shocking display. Um, oh, one of my friends is um, inviting me to play Apex Legends. Bro, streaming right now. <laughs> I should really go invisible on Steam when I'm streaming, but people usually don't message me. Frappuccino, huh? That's a bold move. Is it going to pay off? Well, share your thoughts with me, Cotton. Wait, that's a terrible move. Why did I play that? Um, that's fine. Let's do a little bit of this. I regret moving this. Ooh. Hello. Sir? Uh, you're making a scene? I guess this is fine. I do want to develop my pieces. Well... What if I do this? What if I don't respect what he's done at all? With the idea of pushing G5 next. It is half reflected. Pretty sure you would be if you played over the board tournament. I might have said you have a higher blitz rating than me online. Maybe that's what it is, I don't remember. Cancel Penalta when we need to at Apex Street. I've never played Apex Legends. I've actually never played a Battle Royale game. Okay, no. I played some on stream. I played like the Scrabble Battle Royale and the Wordle Battle Royale, but those don't count. Those don't count. I played a lot of Counter-Strike in my day, so it's kind of surprising, but... I just never have, man. Okay, so we're going to see a bunch of pawns come barreling down this side of the board. That's, uh, that's maybe a little spooky. I'm gonna push this anyway. Is this still leak? Yes, this is. Uh, we lost game one, this is game two. And then we played penultimate right after. What do you mean they don't count? They're really in my heart. They definitely count, but you know. I'm talking about, like, I've never played, uh, like, PUBG or Fortnite or Apex or whatever else there are. Spoilers? Sorry. I, I didn't I didn't mean it. But it is absurd. Like, you're going to want to watch the game anyway. It is absurd what happened. You should try Tetris 99. I haven't played much Tetris. And I certainly haven't played Tetris 99. It's fine, though. I'm happy for a Raman. He, 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 he earned it. Ooh. I I guess I'll fee and kettle my bishop. Right? Maybe I'll just push this pawn now. 
It kind of puts him in an awkward position, right? So what does he do with this knight now? Okay, he moves it there, but now it's got nothing to do, right? It's all dressed up uh, and nowhere to go. I feel like that's a win for us. Oh yeah, Tetris. One of the two games I'm half competent in? What's the other one? If it's Puyo Puyo, that doesn't count. That's just double Tetris. You can't double dip Tetris. Now where's this knight going? Uh, if the knight goes here, how annoyed by that am I? Probably substantially. <laughs> I want to play H3 again, but we know how that's turned out in the past, right? Minesweeper? Oh, weird. We just played some 4D Minesweeper recently. I can relate. Chat, okay, hear me out. I don't want to fall into the same trap that I did before. And now he's got a Frappuccino Bishop, actually. That's pretty... That's kind of spooky, right? Well, what can I really do about that? This is not a problem unless I push. Then again. Oh. Trying to decide if I want to do anything about this. The answer is not necessarily. I don't know. Is this league played an hour? Oh, n uh, no. This league isn't played in half reflected. It's default turn zero, but you can decide to play something else. And we decided to play something else. Hi, air hater. Only if the two players are crazy. Actually, neither of us are, uh, us are crazy. I don't think crazy is in our, uh, is in our group. But I'm... Here, and then queen comes out, right? Okay, I'm gonna spend forever on this move. Uh, and I feel like that's bad. I feel like I don't actually want to do that. So, I should make a move now. Okay. H A6 has issues because of what we said before. E6... What does that really accomplish? It blocks the bishop. We could develop the bishop. Defend the knight. And then what is our queen doing? Probably should have pushed the f-pawn before doing everything that I did. Boom, boom. I feel like that's fine though. Alternatively, <sighs> that was mostly an issue. There, there, there. Get my queen to my opponent's king side does seem to be... What if I rotated my knight over here? It's probably a bad idea. If boom, takes, takes, boom, takes. That's not good. If boom, boom, takes. No, that's pretty bad too. All right, there should be two of this. I've heard the fly me to the moon rip of this so much hearing the correct song through, threw me off. I don't think I've heard the fly me to the moon remix of this. 
Chat, why do I find it so difficult to play this game? My queen is so restricted. This is probably not the move. This is probably not the move. Ooh, it's not exactly what I expected. I guess I'll do this. So that if this gets kicked, I can move it and not um, immediately lose this. And also because I spent so much time on my other move, I don't want to spend that much time on these moves. Maybe e6, queen e7. I can always just put my king on e8 where it rightfully belongs. Also, maybe this makes his queen a little bit more unwieldy since he's pushed this pawn. It appears that both sides have opted to defend. See you guys in five years. <laughs> How do you think chess works? It's not like we're boxing and we're both sitting on our corners of the ring. Like, a lot of threats are being made actively. How do I undermine this? If I move my... If I move this knight out of the way, it's pinned, but I can't move it anywhere useful, right? I guess I could do the most, like, the most insane thing ever. I guess I could push this, but then he gets a knight outpost here. And it also undermines my own Frappuccino Bishop. I'm going to do this because it's a move. This can happen now. I mean, no, it can't. D don't worry about the mental process that just, <laughs> that just got me there. 5D chess boxing sounds cool. Yeah. 5D chess boxing one. Interesting. See, now I'm kind of tempted. Hold on. Well, maybe rook over. Maybe rook over. D punch out with a multi risk time travel. How do we do the five D boxing part? It's true. <laughs> These are the questions. Yo, why is everyone moving their rooks, dude? That's a good question, <laughs> and I'm not sure I have a good answer for you. Is this the new meta? <laughs> you gotta catch up, Ryan. There's a newsletter. Five <laughs> D meta, new meta just dropped. Rooks only. You know what? Actually, this is kind of brilliant. What? What Romat is doing is <laughs> making me move my rooks um, to to match his rook movements because I'm afraid of I've got FOMO rook FOMO, 
and now I don't have any squares where I can Jurassic to turn one and super cement the game out at the end. Oops, all rooks. <laughs> New meta just dropped. I don't know what the fuck this is. I actually, in hindsight, I like... I like almost any other move than Rook G8 last move. That's actually pretty garbage. It's pretty terrible. I could say an advanced counter to this, but obviously it might be a spoil spoiler. Well, either don't or, you know, heavily spoiler tag it, please. Thank God he's lost as much time as I have now, deliberating on what to do next. Maybe I push e5, h5, and then go bishop h6? <laughs> I just give up the long diagonal. This is super whack. I don't know why either of us have done this. Or honestly, maybe well, I've lost so much tempo. Ooh, right now? This is the play? This is the play right now, this very moment? I'm most tempted to do this, which I was gonna do anyway. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to try and build a time advantage. He thought for so long. I don't think he has anything that I need to respect. At least this knight is useless right now. In before tactic. Where he, somehow he forces my D file open and that loses me the game. Yeah, this is weird. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Romad overthink here. Honestly, there is something to be said probably for for E five there. Sorry, D five. That's what I meant. Maybe. I don't really know. If he moves up now. Hmm. How does, does anyone know how, <laughs> as far as I understand, chess boxing, like I understand that the idea of it is like a certain amount of you know, it's like a round of boxing and then like some amount of chess, right? But it's so, isn't it just super easy to like turtle up and make chess take really long for your opponent to win? And boxing doesn't take that long for like something really crazy and destructive to happen, right? So like... Maybe I should just do this here. We'll do this here. So that I don't spend a ton of time. Just because I'm nervous about the bishop here, I feel like any I feel like any winning tactics involve this bishop crashing into this knight, probably, right? Or some some such. And I'm scared of that. Just run away from your opponent in the boxing rounds. Easy. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. If you're just trying to like survive. Okay. Now comes the real question. If I take here, do I lose? Now take boom. Oh, actually maybe. And then he can travel. He can like check here or something. 
What if I immediately do this? What if I immediately do this and force the issue? And I tell him to get off my lawn? I guess he could run away. What if, maybe I should, okay. I'm considering, well, okay. I guess I could do, it's probably bad. I could trap his knight. An undefend G6, which has never, or sorry, B6, which has never been a problem. It's never caused problems. Um, I've got to reset the music. There we go. A6, trapping his knight, or knight E8. Wait, if I just take here, he can't do this because I've got a knight here. If I take here, do I really lose? If I take here, what is his response? Well, okay, he has to check and then takes and then takes and then I've stayed here so he can always go back. I'm asking for trouble, aren't I? Maybe I should just take here, but look at all my pieces. What's gonna happen? Takes, check. Travel to... Because if I don't, I have to either take, like, t immediately or take, like, never. Because then it's, like, a big problem for me because you can always travel to the turn where this knight is here. Do we play with fire, chat? Or maybe take and then push the pawn? I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. Maybe I'm getting spooked for no reason, but I don't want to I don't feel good about taking it. Maybe now he pushes this pawn? Maybe I should have taken it. <laughs> I mean, wait, I got a free knight, so it didn't even matter if he pushed that pawn, right? I could just move back. Uh, is it, if, he, if he pushes here... Well, actually, maybe this is fine. I hate this game. I hate it here. I want to go home. <laughs> it's just so much second guessing. I now I definitely can't take it with my king. Because then he's got a board where... Yeah, that's what we thought was going to happen. I guess we take, take. Oh, and then we get the bishop. If he takes, then we take and we get the bishop. Uh, if he takes back or something like that, right? So maybe now we do this, although then it allows him to do this and take, and then if he takes, then takes, 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 and that's not good. But if he... Okay, the thing is, if he takes here, even if we threaten to take this, then he takes, and then we take, and then he takes. Well, okay, but then we can take. So I guess what would happen if I do this is he would take... And then I would take, and then he would take, and then I would take, and then he would take, and then I'd be down a piece, which is a bad thing. <laughs> this is a controversial opinion, but uh, I think losing pieces for free is not a good strategy. How have I let him push his pawns up this far? This is stupid. I guess I should do this, but the only problem with that is that then this is mate. You know? Well, I guess I've always got my knight to fall back on. This is so stupid. I'm so dumb. I guess I'm gonna do this now, but then my king can't run away. Isn't that a terrible idea? Wait, does anybody know why I didn't take this pawn with my queen and then lose it to this rook? Because <laughs> I didn't even think about doing that. 
which means I'm probably not thinking very much at all. <laughs> nah, I don't know why. <laughs> see a free piece murder your opponent? Well, let's see a free piece take a free piece. See a free pawn, don't. I have a question. What are you doing? <laughs> I've already asked myself that question. You're late to the party, Alexi. The answer is cheese. Is it a question? I'm fucking with my enemy. Oh, yeah, okay, I expected that. Uh, so now I have to maybe... Oh, it's really bad to let his queen take control of this diagonal, huh? So it's pretty bad to let this push and open up the... Because I'm kind of hiding behind this pawn, but this pawn is also the only thing preventing this guy from... This is so dumb. Why, why have I done any of this? <laughs> what a miserable state of affairs. Okay. Hold on. What if... I play rook a... F or sorry, knight a5. And then push my knight up to here. Taking here... And then queen back is probably ultimately bad for me. What if I push this pawn now? What if my opponent... Designed to throw your opponent off. <laughs> Bro, I just came back and what is this position? <laughs> A dumpster fire. Maybe I move the rook. Here, here. Oh, and then if push takes, boom. Check, boom. Uh, maybe. <sighs> Dude, I, I need to avoid getting mated on B6. How has it come to this? Because, like, here, and then takes, and then takes is going to be mate, right? So, like, the real question is, how do I avoid losing immediately? Do I have to push this pawn? Maybe I should have taken the knight. It's even got a free check. If I, takes, takes. Push pawn. Maybe I have to push the pawn. What a shit show, dude. <laughs> oh, see a free Greece, take a free Greece. Persia. <laughs> see a free horse, take a free horse. Spartans. See a golden fleece, take a golden fleece. Jason of Argonauts fame. See a bad move, make a bad move. 
Summit the Turk 2022. <laughs> This is so terrible. This is so terrible. Now, I guess I push this because if I take this, I kind of lose, right? So I guess I need to do this. It's because eval doesn't go beyond plus 100. <laughs> I can't tell a good move from a bad one, so in my opinion, you're doing fantastic. Thanks, Nathaniel. Man, I couldn't recover from the shock of last game. My only saving grace is that maybe there could be a moment where I push this. Um, and uh, travel to here with my queen. <laughs> my evaluation is that this is fine. We're killing it in that case. <laughs> fine is uh, fine is a relative term. Okay, what do I have to worry about? There's no longer this looming threat. I guess this would be pretty bad, huh? Wait, if this happens, then. I can't block with my knight. Um, oh, we can threaten mate. He's threatening mate. So that's his, his mate wins before our mate wins. So I definitely have to respond to this. Uh, question is how? Okay, hold on. This doesn't cut it. This prevents me from losing on the spot, I think. Right? But then this happens and I have to defend this guy. I suppose I could do that with this... Knight, but then... Dude... I'm so sick of this game. I'm also running super low on time, so... I have to be careful. So, if I push this down, what happens? Right back to where it came from, which was a st stupid idea. Can't go here. I guess he could take and then go there. And that's like a really big issue. Or the bishop. <sighs> Chat. Just play stronger. Do I bring my rook back? Oh, and faster? Okay. I have to defend this, and there are only so many ways I can do that. So I guess I'll make this move, which seems terrible. It seems like a terrible move. Actually, pawn push, getting ready for the queen here. But then I can always take this. Buy myself a tiny bit of time. You need to optimize your thinking time? I agree. Although, okay, here takes here. Because then if takes here, I have this. But then takes, takes, and then takes loses. But that's not check. Okay, he went ahead and did this move. Now... Actually, do I take with the... <laughs> do I take with the knight? Probably not, right? Well, that's a shame. I think this knight is probably useful. Where it is. 
Uh, Ryan coaching some med stream. I'd be down for that. Just to get my king out of the way, but like my knight is defending here. Oh, I guess that's less relevant now. Actually, maybe I should have taken with the knight. Definitely not though, right? <laughs> Seems crazy. My outs. <laughs> I'm losing them. Pushing this pawn though? It could be a five head strat. To push this pawn and then like imagine that I sack here only move takes check takes 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 and eventually you know I like push this pawn and then I mate with the queen <laughs> maybe unclear I'm not getting mated here. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Maybe I prep the travel now. Although, no, because if I, this and then this happens, I can't take with my king because then I definitely lose, right? But here I'm going to lose in a second anyway. So like, then again, here, here. So then I could also, If like takes takes, then this, so that I can't do this, then that's pretty bad. Oh, but then hold on. If takes first, then takes, I can always do this after that. Oh, but then takes takes, and then I lose, but that's not good either. Knight B8 was definitely the move. Ah, but. Will I live long enough to see myself travel? Where will this go? Um. Give me a really quick, hold on. Five, four, e3, e2. Exact, the exact turn that his queen stops defending. Is this nothing? Yeah, he can just sack a bishop to save his um, situation, right? It's not like I have very many options though. It seems pretty lethal and I don't have a better idea. So I'm going to push this. <laughs> Prepping a travel in two turns. Unless I get checked then. But I guess, <laughs> I guess I could also reposition my... Oh, that's immediate... That's immediate loss. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, uh, it's safe to say, my, obviously my knight was the only thing defending that square. Um, I think it's safe to say that I played really poorly this game. <laughs> but it happens. GG. Well played, Round Madden. That was pretty bad. Man, the moving my rook up and then down is pretty bad. Let's see. Knight b8 was the other move I was considering, but it looks so absurd. Knight b8. Oh! Knight b8 of queen a8, my bishop captures on b5. Oh! Oh! That makes so much more sense. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, as soon as that, um, as soon as that pawn gets out of the way, because the pawn, the uh, my opponent's pawn was the only thing I was defending my king, right? I failed to, I failed to visualize. GG. No. Oh. Well played.